To find the best electric scooters of 2023, you have to hands-on test a ton of scooters, literally. That's why year after year, Rider Guide has tested more electric scooters than anybody in the world. Well, no one scooter is best for everybody. Some people want lightweight, for some it's long range, and for some it's top speed. But since we've tested all of these scooters in exactly the same way, we can tell you for a fact what each one does best. So the goal of this video is to help you find the best value electric scooter, no matter what your level of experience or how you want to use it. We'll do it in three sections, starter, intermediate, and expert. And at the end, we'll even reveal why certain scooters have been mysteriously absent from our list for a long time. Plus one major brand, Dualtron, that's back on this list after a long absence. So stay tuned for that. Here are our picks for best electric scooters of 2023 and 24, starting with our top nine entry-level scooters. GoTrax G3 Plus, best performance on a budget. GoTrax didn't make the list at all in 2022, but is back in a big way this year, replacing their best-selling and least expensive scooter, the GXL V2, with the smoother, faster, roomier G3 Plus. The big 10-inch tubed tires and dual brakes means its ride quality is almost as good as the famous GoTrax G4, but less expensive, and the G3's braking is even better. There's no app and no frills, but it is a ton of fun to ride and a great value from one of the best-known brands in the US. US. Segway E2 Plus, best for students. We were shocked when we discovered the existence of a $299 Segway, the E2. But for best electric scooters of 2023, we're picking the E2 Plus version because we think it's worth the extra 50 bucks to get a little more hill climbing power and a bump in top speed from 12 and a half to 15 and a half miles per hour. The combination of solid reliability and semi-solid flat-proof tires means it's ultra-low maintenance, so you can take it with you to college without bringing a bicycle pump or toolkit. New KQI2 Pro, best scooter under $600. The KQI2 Pro is the star of many best scooter lists because it's just better than it should be for $599. We just can't get over the build and ride quality of this electric scooter. The 10-inch tubeless tires feel awesome and make it less prone to flat tires, and the brakes and throttle are perfectly tuned to be fun to ride, but also super friendly for beginners. Plus, it comes with a two-year warranty, the longest we've seen for an electric scooter. GoTrax G5, most comfortable ride under $600. For $600, we don't expect the smoothest ride or a battery way bigger than the Segway ES4, but that's what you get on the new 2023 GoTrax G5, because it's the first GoTrax scooter to come with front suspension. Like the G3, there are few features and no app, but typical for their brand, there is a ton of value. For this price, this is the biggest battery, highest motor power, and and smoothest ride we've seen. For about $100 more, there's also the very similar looking G6, which has the same 500 watt motor, but 56% more battery. We haven't tested the G6 yet, but based on our tests of the G5, we estimate the G6 will have 22 miles or more real world range. Stay tuned for our G6 review. New KQI3 Max, best high performance commuter, single motor. I've never said this on camera, but this scooter has been the number one scooter I keep at home with me ever since I tested it, because I like the combination of range, portability, and performance for running errands. And as an expert rider, I love that it has ridiculously strong dual disc brakes, which can feel a little abrupt for brand new riders. I also like its unusually high top speed of 22 miles per hour and two year warranty like the KQI2. It's a ton of performance and outstanding build quality for the price. Unagi Voyager, best lightweight commuter and best scooter subscription. The other scooter you'll most likely find in my garage or trunk is the Unagi Voyager because nothing folds down or stows faster and its sleek look and ultra lightweight mean when I'm running errands, I don't bother locking it outside. I just bring it in with me wherever I go. Its dual 250 watt motors means it climbs hills better than any other lightweight scooter, and the Voyager's upgraded battery now has way more range. It has flat proof tires, which never ride quite as smoothly as air filled tires, but the semi solid tires the Voyager uses are among the best we've tried. The Voyager is unique in that while you can buy one, you don't have to. You can just rent one for $69 a month, including maintenance, and just return it if scooters turn out not to be your thing. So this might be the easiest way there is to start riding. Fluid Mosquito and U-Scooters GT Sport, a tie for best ultra portables. For utility, portability, and speed, the Fluid Mosquito stands almost alone. It seems to defy physics with a tested top speed of 27.7 miles per hour, while weighing in at less than 30 pounds. And we're gonna 
clear up some confusion here. There's also the very similar U-Scooters GT Sport. Both scooters look and weigh about the same. The main difference is that the GT Sport features a Samsung battery, a tested top speed of 30 miles per hour, and costs $200 more. And the Fluid Mosquito has a generic battery and a lower top speed, but you save 200 bucks. We're calling this one a tie. We've tested both and you really can't go wrong with either one. Apollo Air 2023, best premium entry-level scooter. Now let's pivot from utility to luxury. The Apollo Air is a premium scooter that combines lightweight with an ultra smooth ride from its front suspension and big 10 inch tires. It's another scooter often spotted in the trunk of my car. This is a great choice for new riders and commuters and features Apollo's awesome feeling dedicated regen brake lever. Updates for 2023 include self-healing tubeless tires, front turn signals, Plus, it gets a new stem folding mechanism from the Apollo Pro, making it feel even more premium. Best intermediate scooters are next, but first, honorable mentions for the starter scooter category. Pause if you want to see the tested performance numbers, and you can find all of the details and reviews on the Rider Guide site. Now, our top three intermediate scooters for 2023 and 24. Apollo City Pro, best dual motor commuter. The Apollo City Pro's dual 500 watt motors, full suspension, and self-healing tubeless tires make it the perfect city commuter. In fact, the 2022 version beat my 300 horsepower car in a legit head-to-head -head race across town through city traffic. It's got a sky-high IP66 water resistance rating, so you can commute rain or shine. And I'm addicted to the braking feel from the dedicated regen brake lever. The 2023 model gets an 11% larger battery, so based on earlier testing, we're expecting more than 25 miles when we test the new one on our hill-covered range test course. And it too gets the upgraded stem folding mechanism from the Apollo Pro. If we we race again, next time I get to ride the City Pro and Ramir gets stuck with the car. E-Move Cruiser S, best long range scooter. The undisputed champion of range also gets an update for 2023 with more speed and more power. If you want more than 40 miles of real tested range for less than $1,500, nothing else even comes close. With a 31.7 mile per hour tested top speed, full suspension, a huge surfboard shaped deck, and a ton of available accessories, this may be the only scooter you'll ever need, but with a tested range of 43.6 miles, it's definitely the most range per dollar you could buy. Segway Ninebot Max G2, best single motor commuter. The original Ninebot Max set the industry standard for long range and reliability. We expected that the new G2 would be a Ninebot Max with suspension, and we got that. But the suspension was way better than we expected, and so was the range. And then came the new stuff, like turn signals and a much improved app featuring Apple Find My. The G2 is a great scooter for new riders, but we bumped it to the intermediate class because it now weighs in almost 54 pounds. If the G2's price and weight feel out of reach, there's the lighter and less expensive F2 Pro. It's a lesser version for sure, but you still get the famous Segway 9 bot build quality and performance and ride quality are almost as good in every category except for range. Here are some honorable mentions for the intermediate class. You can pause to see the tested specs or find full reviews here on YouTube and on our site. Now for the expert category, the biggest baddest, and yes, most expensive scooters, but also the most fun. Here are our eight favorites for 2023 and 24. Apollo Pro, best overall design and best luxury scooter. When you see the new flagship Apollo Pro next to other scooters, it's clear this one hits different. For one thing, I can't stop taking selfies with it in the elevator. The ride from the 12 inch tires, full suspension and one piece frame is next level solid and smooth. Designed in-house in Canada by Apollo, the whole scooter just feels like it's from the future. For example, it's the first to give you a choice between using your phone as display or an integrated display. Plus, it has an IoT, so you can use the app to track its location and control it from anywhere. Did I mention it has a strong frame? This is a scooter that makes me want to ride all day. Subscribe so you don't miss our review. Cabo Mantis V2, best high performance value. The Cabo Mantis has always been one of the best values from one of the best brands in dual motor electric sports scooters. And the Mantis V2 may be the best Mantis value ever with sine wave motor controllers, hydraulic brakes that come standard, and a top speed that beat the previous Mantis Pro. At $500 less and eight pounds lighter than the Mantis King GT, the V2 isn't quite as fast and doesn't have hydraulic shocks, but its zero to 15 time is within a few tenths, making this base model a best value for performance. Nami Klima, best light heavyweight performance scooter. In this hotly contested category, it's tough to stand out, but the Klima just does. Yeah, there's no app, it's all one color, and it's a little heavy at 84 pounds, we don't care, we just love riding it with its 
awesome hydraulic suspension, nimble handling, and performance from zero to 30 that's so ridiculous that even experienced riders like Mitchell and I can't help laughing every time we mash the throttle. Maybe the hardest thing about buying a Klima Max is knowing that the base model 72 volt Burn E2 is just $600 more. The Burn E2 earns an honorable mention for ride quality and acceleration that's even more bonkers than the Klima at a great price. Segway GT2, best scooter to replace your car. The GT2 is one of the first scooters we've tested that feels truly vehicle grade. It's got enough power to ride comfortably with traffic, controls that are intuitive to use, and stability that makes it feel effortless to ride all day, despite being one of the world's quickest scooters from zero to 30. The build quality is just stunning. It's on a level I'd expect from a modern Japanese motorcycle. Just make sure you don't ever need to haul it upstairs because it's almost impossible for one person to carry it but I still want one. Solar Eclipse, best e-moto. Okay, this isn't a scooter at all, but I can't leave out one of my personal favorite EVs of the year, the 58 mile per hour Solar Eclipse. In the city, the Eclipse will do anything my full-size gas-powered motorcycle would do. It has enough range to cross San Francisco edge to edge 8.7 times on a single charge of its removable battery and a 17 digit VIN. So unlike a Suron, you can go fully legit if you want to with registration and insurance. And soon they're sending us a new version with street tires, so stay tuned for an updated review. Wolf King GT Pro and GTR, best overall performance per dollar and industry icons. We've tested three generations, Wolf Warrior 11, Wolf King, and Wolf King GT now. Each one has been a huge step forward, but they all had one thing in common when they came out. They each set the outright industry benchmark for best performance per dollar. If history has taught us anything, it's that the GTR will be even better. So even though we haven't tested it yet, we're co-honoring it with the existing GT Pro, whose tested numbers you see here. Stay tuned for the upcoming review of the GTR for full tested performance. Emu Roadrunner Pro, best seated scooter under $3,000. If you don't want to pay 6 k for a Suron or an Eclipse e-moto, the dual motor 55 mile per hour Roadrunner Pro with its swappable battery is the next best thing and just ridiculously fun. It's more affordable and more portable, but still has the solid feel you'd expect from a small motorcycle. It comes with full suspension and goes zero to 30 in just 5.8 tire spinning seconds. It's just small enough to wheel inside your house or office and small enough to be mistaken for an e-bike, which is good because like a Suron, I'm not sure it's technically legal anywhere, but we ride it everywhere anyway. And our final expert level award, the Dualtron X Limited is the world's biggest, baddest production scooter and brings Dualtron back onto our best list for the first time since 2020. I didn't know what to think of the world's biggest electric scooter when it arrived, but it turned out to be really easy to ride and so comfortable, I rode the entire 86.4 mile range test in one shot without taking a break. Built by the company that basically invented the dual motor electric scooter, it is without a doubt the fastest and longest range scooter we've ever tested, as well as the largest, outweighing second place by more than 57 pounds. The suspension is impossibly cushy, stability is awesome, and the power is just ridiculous, but also surprisingly easy easy to control and fine tune. With so many available P-settings, I really appreciated finally getting an app from Dualtron that lets you quickly dial them all in without needing an owner's manual. Dualtrons have been conspicuously absent from our best lists ever since winning top honors back in 2020, and here's why. We love Dualtrons, but the aging EY3 display, outdated stem clamps that creaked and wobbled, and abrupt throttles have been the barrier between being very, very good scooters and truly great. But we're looking forward to later in 2023 and 24 because we hear that the problem areas have been upgraded on their new models, and that was certainly the case with the X Limited. Here are the honorable mentions for the expert class. You can pause to see the tested specs or find full reviews on our channel and the Rider Guide site. Our most anticipated scooter for 2024 is the Apollo Explorer. With the side-by-side -side foot platforms and central removable battery, the design is just so out there that it could be really awesome. And based on riding the Apollo Pro, our expectations are sky high. There are so many good scooters in 2023 and some of them are still yet to arrive, but are worth watching for. Here's a quick peek at our most anticipated scooters for 2023 and 2024. Our goal with this video was to make the world's most comprehensive best electric scooters list for 2023. And we hope that our hands-on research 
market analysis have helped you find your best match. If you want to help us build next year's best list, tell us in the comments what would be on your list of best electric scooters. Check out the Rider Guide website for more details on all of these scooters and see our new search tool. Or you can find links to the scooters in this video's description, which also support this channel. Thanks for watching. I'm Paul from Rider Guide. Enjoy your ride.